Hi friends and fellow flute enthusiasts, thanks for tuning into this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews. I'm Johnny Lipford and since 2002 I've dedicated myself to everything flute. I now teach, perform, and record full time with the Native American flute. If you're looking to become more emotive with your flute playing or you just love the sounds of the Native American flute, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you're notified every time a video drops. I frequently post videos about flute tutorials, flute tips, original songs, as well as cover songs to showcase how versatile the Native American flute can be. So let's dive into this one. All right, in today's episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews, we're going to be looking at a flute made by Brad Young of Four Winds Flutes. This is in the key of high F sharp minor. So um, given the size, you know it's going to be um, uh, quite a little bit higher of sound. Uh, this flute is made from spalted holly. Now, over time, this has oxidized and turned a little bit more um, yellow in color. It used to be the stark white with this um, gray um, and black coloring through it, the spalted part of it. Um, and it's gotten some um, use around the finger holes too. Um, I've had this flute for a really long time. I think I got it in 2006, 2007, uh, somewhere around there. And um, so I've owned it for quite a while. I've been playing it for a long time. I've done many concerts with this flute. It's gone on tour with me several times. Uh, there is one particular song that uh, has become kind of a hit, and it's um, a little bit uh, outside the box, as you will. Um, the name of the song is called Orange Dragonflies, and those of you that follow me and have seen me uh, at festivals and things like that have become uh, very aware of this catchy little tune. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description below or up here. And uh, it's just a fast pitch or a uh, fast uh, paced, high pitch song, very happy, and that is played with this particular flute. Now, um, key of uh, high F sharp minor, normally you don't see six holes on really high flutes just because space is a concern as that bore gets smaller. Um, you run out of room, so normally what you find is just five hole flutes. I'm happy to have that sixth hole because playing into the major scale quite a bit. The block is made from soapstone, uh, which is not a common thing for a block of a flute. Um, I like this and it's also very smooth and contoured so again doesn't get caught on flute bags. The mouth opening here is um, large for the size of flute but I find it to be very comfortable. There's a little bit of back pressure with this flute. Um, but not enough that um, it limits what I can do with breath work and tonguing techniques. Usually the more back pressure that you have on a flute, the tonguing and breath techniques become a little bit more lethargic because the airflow isn't moving as efficiently through the flute. I love about this flute, this is the thing, high pitch flutes can sometimes be really shrill, they can be really high and piercing almost, but this flute is really smooth, really um, has a nice uh, sweet sound to the voice of it given its high pitch. So let me play a little bit, maybe I'll play Orange Dragonflies acoustically here. sweet sound to this flute. I love playing this flute. I travel with it everywhere. Um, it's probably due for a new finish because I've played it so much and the oil on my hands um, has uh, kind of worn off the finish here a little bit. But still love this flute dearly. Again, this is a flute made by Brad Young, Four Winds Flutes. He's now based down in Florida. 
So if you see him, tell him I said hi. By the way, there's a couple of links in the description below where you can download a couple of free songs on me. So check that out. You'll also find some other cool stuff down there, links to tutorials and things to help you along your flute journey. So again, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe if you like flute reviews and you wanna continue on uh, the flute journey with me. We've got a lot of flutes to go through, so I hope to see you next time.